Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about recently announced Power BI Premium per User License. Why should you go for that and why should you avoid it? Everything we are going to discuss in this video. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. The very first is, what is Power BI Premium per user license? Well, Power BI Premium per user license is similar to the premium license which was earlier available with a dedicated capacity. However, it's not exactly the same. It would bring some extra features which are already available in Power BI Premium. However, it won't provide you all the features which are already in premium. Uh, license for Power BI. It would include some of the features such as AI, machine learning, etc. But still, there is some difference. So let's find out. Now, the second question arises Do I really need a Power BI Pro license and a premium per user license? Well, the answer is no. Power BI Premium Per User License has all the features that is currently available in Power BI Pro License. So you don't need it. The next question comes, why should I go for Premium Per User License? Like I already mentioned, Premium Per User License has a lot of new features such as AI capabilities and storage which is up to 100 TB per tenant. Also it would bring like the refresh rate we can do the schedule refresh up to 48 times per day so definitely it has a lot of features which are available currently only in premium license only but yes there are some limitations as well now why should we avoid premium per user license there is a reason if you have premium per user license then only another person or the user who has premium per user license can view the content in the premium per user licensed workspace the guy or the person who has only pro license they cannot view those contents so definitely that's a limitation secondly there are some features are missing if we compare with the premium uh, license which is available right now so i think there are reasons like you can avoid it and you can go uh, currently or you can carry on with the or be a pro license if your organization is small but yes there are a lot of other features like i mentioned earlier 48 times uh, schedule refresh then uh, storage capacity you will get it plus you will get the ai or azure machine learning and all those sort of features which i'm just going to discuss you so there are reasons to accept it but there are also the reasons to avoid it now the question comes what is the difference between premium per user and the premium licenses so let's figure it out as you can see on my screen there are four major features which are missing from the premium per user license such as if we talk about the multi geo sport then we talk about the unlimited distribution power bi reports on premise which is very critical for the premium capacity or for those organizations who really want to administer their reporting services within their walls itself that means on their premise they don't want to they are not willing to actually put their data on the cloud because of their security reasons such as banks so many of the banks they are not still not feeling comfortable to put their data on cloud and the last is the bring your own key so you cannot bring your own key or there and like in premium capacity you can do but as i mentioned you earlier as well there are plenty of reasons that you should you should go with the premium per user capacity such as um, refresh rate which i told you 48 uh, 48 times per day paginated reports ai capabilities advanced data flows features then you have deployment pipelines xmla endpoint connectivity enhanced automatic uh, page difference etc so those are really very powerful features my organization has already power bi premium so should i go with the premium per user license to publish my content to my capacity well i'll say 
if your organization uh, is maintaining a couple of premium licenses like there are certain uh, departments or more than one departments like in very big organizations for example if i'll say kpmg accenture those big big organizations where the capacity is like users are in lakhs so in that case you can consider for a particular group or particular department to get pro license uh, according to their requirements however if your organization is small and also you have already one premium license then i don't think so you should go for that next question comes does this work like a premium capacity can you turn on or off simple answer is no because it's gonna manage by the microsoft itself so we cannot do that how do i enable premium per user for my tenant so that's very important question well once a license is provisioned for ppu for the tenant the ppu features will be available in any workspace you turn these on for public preview you will simply enable the premium per user features in the capacity drop down by selecting the premium per user items if i have marked a workspace as a premium per user how will others users know well whenever we are going to mark our user as a uh, premium per user so as you can see on my screen there's a icon this icon is going to appear in front of that particular app workspace now the next question is who can access content in a premium per user workspace or app like i mentioned earlier only those users who have this premium per user workspace or premium per user license they can only access this content obvia pro users they cannot now as you can see on my screen there is a sharing content like who can share how can share so you can go through this so it's clearly mentioned it's by microsoft i i didn't create it so it's provided by the microsoft so you can have a look over here like in uh, the pro premium per user and premium per capacity what is the difference who can access who cannot access the content now the next question comes can i host a power bi dataset in a premium per user workspace build a report against it that i publish in a different pro workspace and allow users to access this report without needing a ppu license well the simple answer is no you cannot do that as i mentioned earlier it's because of the sharing the content is not allowed how much total storage do i get with a premium per user the entire tenant well the entire tenant will still have the same 100 tb limit like a premium capacity would in terms of storage that is pooled across the premium per user license holders how will email subscription work in a premium per user license well you will be allowed to subscribe anyone with the ppu license or a pro license to receive the subscription and any attachment it includes provided the attachment is the same for all users there is already a limit of the number of recipients that can be added to each subscription that will continue to be enforced when new features are introduced that have different content attachment for different recipient this will require a premium per user license for each endpoint now the last question is that when is the public preview starting probably by the end of november or the start of november somewhere i'm not sure exactly because microsoft has not provided any details but it's around november so it should be in early november also the very last point that i would like to discuss with you guys is that uh, how much would that cost you well till now there is no cost available for this one till now microsoft haven't revealed any cost for this one but since microsoft is rolling out a lot of new features in the teams in power bi power platform and other applications so probably uh, when they are going to launch it uh, around november so then we are going to get to know i hope you like today's video and if you have any questions concerns or you want to know something more about this license type so please leave your comment in the comment section and also check out the links in the description section thank you so much mm -hmm.